How's it going everybody? Hopefully you had a good long weekend and now it's back to business. So in this video, I'm going to be going over the trades that I took on June 2nd. I took some trades on AMC and NVIDIA, both to the long side. It was not the most exciting, but I navigated the market well. I think I did a good job at managing risk and came out green. And I think this is going to be a good video because it's also going to show that at least for myself, I'm trying to make sure that I add some other names to the usual Tesla every single day. I really like to trade Tesla. I did miss some opportunities on it today, but hey, that happens. But I want to make sure moving forward that I have other names to watch as well because there are plenty of opportunities in the market and I just want to be open-minded and make sure that I can take advantage of them when they're there. Tesla is still my favorite stock to trade, but there are a lot of other stocks out there and I just want to do my best to have those up or at least the ones that are in play prior to market open. So that way I can trade those too. So now let's get into the technicals of SPY in the queues and then the names that I was watching today. So starting with SPY, it's just been consolidating up here. So it got back above the 9 EMA, the 20 SMA, and it's just been hanging out. A little bit of misdirection. It is trending up, but have a green candle followed by a red candle. So the price action is a little choppy. It got close to all-time highs and sold off a little bit but it is still above the short-term moving averages. So the levels that I was looking at today was prior days low, 419.20. If it gets back below that, it felt like there was a little bit of downside room to the nine EMA and prior days high at 422.72. And then knowing that if for some reason it got above that, all-time high is just above at 422.82. And now looking at the cues, so similar situation to the SPY, it's been a little choppy lately. It is above a lot of the short-term moving averages but it is farther off the all-time high than SPY. So the levels that I was looking at was prior days high, 335.79. If it gets above that, just goes to show that short-term buyers are in control. And if for some reason there was weakness in the market, looking at prior days low at 331.43. Now to get into the watch list, starting with Zoom. So the reason why Zoom was on my list is because it had earnings yesterday. It had a nice move in the after hours yesterday. It was trading a little bit lower in the pre-market. But just looking at this 336, so a couple days of consolidation, if it got back above this 336 area, it did look like it had some room higher. So the main levels that I was looking at was prior days high, 336.14, pre-market high, 337.80. And then if for some reason there was some weakness in the market, just knowing where those levels to the downside are, pre-market low, 328.53, and prior day low, 321.70. And now getting into AMC, so the short squeeze is on. It had the gap up this morning. It is very extended on the daily chart, but you'd never know how far these can go. So the main levels I was interested in trading around was pre-market high, which was pretty far away, but knowing that it was at 44.75, this prior pivot resistance high, 36.72, it was trading above that. That was the red candle. So if anybody's short, it gets above that. I think that they would start to feel some pain. So that was a very key level, pre-market low at 36, just if for some reason there was some weakness. And also knowing that there was a downside gap fill. So if it did start to sell off, that could possibly be an area that it got to right around 33.53. And if for some reason this really started to roll over, prior days low, 28.53. And now getting into NVIDIA, so clearly very strong. This continues to make all-time highs. And when stocks like NVIDIA continue to make all-time highs, I like to be a part of that trend. So the levels I was interested in trading around was the prior day's high, which also would have been a new all-time high, 655.53, pre-market high, 651.89. And then if for some reason there was weakness in the market, just knowing where those downside levels are, like I always put, pre-market low, 648.50, and prior day low, 636.13. Okay, so now getting into Tesla, has had a pretty nice move right off this 550 area. It got back above a lot of the moving averages. It did have a couple days of consolidation. Obviously, I don't know which way this is gonna go, so just using the levels like I always do. If it wants to continue to go higher, if it got through this 633, 634 area, it does look like it had room up to the 50 SMA. Doesn't have to get there in one day, but just knowing where it is. So that main level I was looking at to the upside was prior days high, 633.80 pre-market high 623 and if for some reason it did start to roll over prior days low 620.55 pre-market low 617.21 and if it took those out it did look like it had some downside room to the short-term moving averages which were right around 613. All right so now to get into the trades the first one is going to be on AMC and this is a little bit different of a setup than I normally take the reason why is because when these names catch momentum these crazy squeeze names 
A lot of time that first pullback off the open can be an opportunity, kind of like the washout long. So I really was watching this closely, realizing that it did take a dip. The high of day is 37.95 and right there, it starts to bounce off 36. So the moment that I see this really start to speed up, I'm just looking at the tape and the buyers start to come in like crazy and the speed of the tape starts to go insane. So I'm just trying to anticipate a possible very quick opening range break and right here, this green candle starts to engulf that prior one minute candle and I end up trying to get long right around 37. So if I get in at 37, I'd like to see this really start to speed up and right there gets the 37, I end up going along 300 shares. So I'm not trading big size and the tape is going insane. So just a lot of buying. And now what I'm trying to do is obviously I want this to continue to go in my favor very quick. And then when it takes out the high of day at 37.95, I wanted to try to give this a chance to see if this could go a lot further because similar to a trade video before where I got out a little too soon and it went like two or three points after the fact, I wanted to give this a chance. But now I am clearly in the money and I wanna see how far this can go, but also knowing that I do not wanna let this position go red now. So I'm filled at 37.14 and if it starts to come back in, I just wanna get out of the trade. And I did get in very quick off the open. So as much as I wanna be patient with this, I do realize that it is very extended on the daily chart. So if I do notice some weakness, especially getting in that fast off the open, I'm just gonna take profits. And that's exactly what I do right there. So I had the pushover high of day, came back below 38 and just to be safe, I got out of it. AMC is very volatile and definitely risky to trade. I tried to do my best to get a pretty good entry and then make sure to manage risk by not letting that position go red. So overall, I think I did okay. Okay, and here's gonna be the second trade and it's on NVIDIA. The reason why I wanna take this trade is because it just got through all-time high. So it made a new all-time high and now it's starting to consolidate after that big move. That's a nice flag pattern. So I wanna make sure to be long right around 659. I anticipated that break just a little bit like I always do. And I made sure to size down just to be safe. I already took a pretty risky trade on AMC. I don't wanna push my luck. So I only took three contracts. I took the 660 calls. I got filled at 865, had a nice move right through 659. And now I just wanna see if this can get through 660. And if you look at the offer, there is some size right there. Big size on the ask. And if it can get through it, I feel pretty good about a pop further. It takes that out get a nice quick move. I'm looking at the options. I wanna make sure I don't let these go red. And then the moment that it starts to slow down, which is doing a little bit right here, I just wanna make sure to get out of the position so I'm not involved in any sort of pullback. When I get that quick move, I always like to take profits. So that was a nice move. And the moment it starts to slow down a little bit, I make sure to just take the position off and I got a quick 40 cents on the contracts. And the third and final trade is gonna be on AMC. So it's clearly in an uptrend, very strong. Who knows how far this can go, but it's in a crazy short squeeze at the moment. And right now that's a flag pattern. And I wanted to try to anticipate the break of the flag and also knowing that high of day is at 41.35. So I end up sizing down. I only took 200 shares and I wanted to anticipate that 41 whole number break. So ended up getting filled at 40.97. And I like the consolidation. I like that it's above VWAP and I like that it's above the nine EMA. So now I just wanna give this a minute or two to possibly play out. If this loses that 40 area, I'm gonna make sure to just bail on the trade. So here's where I got a little skeptical of the trade. So that looks like a very nice pattern. And AMC has a ton of momentum behind it. So it should follow through very clean. It quickly makes a new high and then instantly starts to show some weakness. And I have seen this before, those pullbacks can be nasty. So when it started to show some weakness there, it got back below 41. Just to be safe, I made sure to get out of the position and I took a very small loss. And of course, had I been a little bit more patient, about a minute later, it finally broke, had a really quick move, and that would have been where I took my profits, but it's hard to be perfect. You never know what something's gonna do. And if it's not playing out as quick as I would like to see it, I make sure to try my best just to get out to be safe. Okay, and a little bit of a bonus to add to the end of the video. So I wanna explain why I didn't take the trade here. So this is NVIDIA. It had a big move. I took profits into that very quick first flag pattern. It pulled back, held VWAP, held the nine, and now it was making a new high of day. The reason why I did not like this setup is because it was numerous green candles in a row. I am trying my best to make sure that anytime I take a trade, it's after some sort of tight consolidation versus just chasing a ton of strength or a ton of weakness. So even though it looked good, I wanna start letting trades go by unless they meet my criteria to every single detail. If they do not, 
I need to make sure to not take that trade. And here's an example where it did break and it continued. So rather than just getting FOMO, realizing that the market is always open another day, and I wanna make sure that as long as I do my best to take each trade individually and wait for a very clean setup, that's what leads to consistency and not feel that FOMO and the need to have to take every single pattern. Because even though this did follow through, I wanted to make sure that I didn't chase it because we all know what happens. The one time where it doesn't work out can usually lead to a big loss. Okay, so now let's go check out the PL. So ended up making $161 from AMC and $113 on the Nvidia 660 calls to be up 274. So nothing super exciting. I did miss a lot of opportunities on Tesla to the downside, but still happy to be green. And overall, I think it was an okay day. So that was the recap. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.